My name is Emma and today I wanted to do a tutorial on how you can make a super cool bridge in Animal Crossing New Horizons. Now let me show you exactly what I mean. This is Firefly and this is a bridge I've made as sort of a centerpiece on my island. This area is called Firefly Falls and since my whole island is based off sort of an outdoorsy uh, national park look, uh, this is a really cool part of my island and I'm really really happy with it. And because I'm so happy with it, I thought I would share it with others. I even shared pictures of this bridge on my Twitter, and a bunch of people even asked to see if there were tutorials online. And so here I am creating one for you all. Alrighty, so all you need are your terraforming tools and some fences and some patterns, and you're good to go. You can add extras afterwards, but uh, basically the bridge itself is super duper simple. Now obviously for the bridge, you need to have two points that you connect on the same level. Uh, that's because we're going to be terraforming those two bits together. So, you know, make sure you have those ready. The way that this effect works is because the whole island is on a cylinder, when you walk away from the bridge enough, it looks like it curves. And yeah, it's super cool. So I'm going to hop on over to an area of my island where I can show you exactly how we can achieve this look. Now, obviously, I'm not going to have those two points uh, to show you, but I think it's pretty self-explanatory how you can connect two points together with this bridge. So let me just show you how I managed to achieve this look. Uh, please ignore my town in general. It's under construction. I know many of you might have already seen my town tour and I'm kind of doing a Firefly 2.0 so that might be coming soon. Alrighty, so what you want to do first is you want to get out your terraforming tools. You want to get out your cliff tool in fact and what you want to do is create maybe a four or five wide uh, rectangle. So that's what I'm going to do now. Uh, you want the rectangle to be as long as you want your bridge to be because that is obviously the base of your bridge. Now you can make it as long or as short as you like but if you want it to have that curve you want it to be a little bit long. I mean you can definitely make it shorter than mine um, but I'm going to go ahead and do that and then I will be right back. Alrighty, and once you're done, your bridge or your rectangle should look a little like this. Now it can definitely be longer and the one in my town is a little longer than this, but basically you can make your bridge as long or as short as you want. So you should have something a little like this. Alrighty, so once you've got your rectangle all set out, you want to go back into your terraforming tools and hop on over to any path, pretty much pick any path because it doesn't really matter. I'm going to go for dirt, that's kind of what I'm using all over my town, um, but by putting dirt down on this block, you're basically going to set a path on your map because when you're putting down those custom designs, uh, they don't actually show. They don't show it as a path on your map and I guess you can skip this step if you don't want your map to look nice. Um, but let me quickly show you if I have one over to mine, in fact, that if you see the bridge in the middle, it has sort of its own path underneath it. So it shows that's the way that the player can walk. So we're going to put down this path and then I'm going to show you exactly what to do next. Alrighty, let's put this path down, friends. Oopsie. <laughs> Don't you hate when that happens? Alrighty, let's, let's quick time this path. Let's go. <laughs> And now we've got that path down, we are going to go ahead and hop into our custom designs and you're going to grab any custom design that you would like. Now I am using this wood design, I'm going to see if I can find the creator code for this and put it in the description because one of my uh, Twitch friends did send that to me, or one of my friends in my Twitch chat I should say sent that to me. So I'm going to try and find it if I can and if I can it will be in the description, otherwise I will find other sort of similar wooden paths, but any, any wooden path will do, uh, any that you get from wooden decking, anything like that or you can even go for a different pattern altogether. This part is kind of where you can get creative. 
But anyway, we're gonna grab this tool and we're gonna cover on top of the original path. Just like this, alrighty. Go ahead and do that and then let's see what we're gonna do next. So once you put those paths down, your bridge should start to look a little more like a bridge. You'll probably start seeing the curve as well. And so after this point, you're going to go grab some fences. And because I am never prepared for anything, I'm going to run back to my house and grab those. Alrighty, let's, let's run over to my house. I guess quick town tour, huh? <laughs> Alrighty, and I'm probably gonna grab this corral fencing. Hopefully I have enough to show it off. Um, but yeah, let's grab that one. Maybe we'll grab, no, we'll just we'll just grab the, the stone fencing as a backup, backup just in case. Alrighty, so once you've gone back to your house to run and grab those fences, you are gonna go ahead and start lining up the sides of your bridge. Now, fingers crossed I have enough I honestly don't think I do, so I'm actually gonna go grab the stone fence and you can use any fence you'd like, but I'm gonna use the stone one. Uh, the stone one's pretty good as well because it goes right up to the edge. Um, with my one I did use the corral fencing, but you know what, it doesn't matter which one you use, just use any fencing that you'd like. Uh, whatever sparks joy, my friends, whatever sparks joy. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna use the stone one, seeing as I have a bunch more of this than the corral one. Uh, but feel free to use whatever fence you would like, my friends, whatever fence you would like. Alrighty, I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then I'm gonna show you the rest of what we're gonna do here today. I promise we're gonna have a cool bridge at the end of this. That's all that matters, right? <laughs> Well, I'm glad we used the stone because we definitely didn't have enough of that corral fencing. But yeah, once you put this down, it's definitely going to start looking 100% more like a bridge. And if we had something on this side and something on this side to connect it, then it would definitely look a little bit more normal. But you guys definitely get the point, I'm sure. This is this is gonna basically going to be your bridge. And now we just have to finish the last part of this grand illusion, which is putting down the water. And this, I think, is what makes the bridge really look like it's going over the top of water because from most perspectives you can't actually see the side of the cliff and your brain just assumes i guess that the water is running underneath it um so we're gonna go ahead and do that and it's gonna look super cool so let's grab our water scaping and let's get the water right up to the edge of both sides of the bridge now for the purposes of this tutorial, I'm not going to go as far as I did on my own bridge, but I would recommend making the water go pretty far. Uh, imagine the way the bridge would go over a real river. Uh, it would definitely be at points where it is quite long. It wouldn't be at the end of the river, so think about that when you're doing it. Make it nice and long and make it nice and pretty. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then I'm gonna show you exactly what it looks like afterwards. Uh, I hope you've been enjoying this tutorial so far anyway. Um, it's just really fun for me to do these videos, guys. Like, I freaking love Animal Crossing and the reason why I haven't been sat making loads of Animal Crossing videos is because I have been absolutely obsessed with playing it myself. But now I'm kind of getting into that more chill phase. I'm really excited to be able to bring you some more tutorial videos and things like that so yeah thank you so much for watching the videos um, and let me know what sort of stuff you'd love to see if you are a fan of Animal Crossing I also stream it on Twitch twitch.tv slash Emma underscore universe so <laughs> check me out over there I guess if you really want to you don't have to but yeah we're gonna speed up this process so I'll see you after I've done it all alrighty guys thank you for joining for this tutorial let's do it let's do it let's do it
Alright friends, uh, once you've done the water, you can now see that the bridge looks like it's going over the top of it. Because we've got these fences here and we can't walk right out, it kind of looks like there is no gap in the water, when in fact there is. So yeah, that's pretty much the illusion. If you want to make your bridge look a little bit more like the one that's actually in my town and not this crazy tutorial bridge, uh, you probably want to make your water a little bit longer on both sides, make it nice and thick, and uh, we'll go back and over to mine so I can show you exactly how it looks in my island specifically. But yeah, I love this effect. I think it's super cool. And yeah, if we walk up and down, the fences really, really accentuate that sort of curved effect. And I love it. This is one of my favorite things in my town. So let me know guys if you use it in your own town. Once again, let me hop on over to the bridge that I made earlier and I'll show you exactly uh, what sort of things you can add to it to make it look even cooler. Alrighty, so let's hop on over there, ignoring all my work in progress town, yes, 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 yes. Um, but yeah, you can use bushes to hide the edges of the path if you would like. You can add tourist telescopes, which I've done to make the bridge look like it has a bit more of a purpose, I guess. Uh, you can add things on the side, I've got these Nova lights. And uh, they, they look really cool over a waterfall, I guess, as well. So, you know, add your own little details, make it your own. Send me your pics over on Twitter or on my Discord or anything like that. Please, please do. And yeah, that's basically the tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, and I hope to see your awesome bridges. Once again, if you want to see me, uh, check me out on my Twitch. I'm there all the time. And I'm hoping to make some more YouTube videos as well. Sky is up here. She wants to say goodbye as well. So thank you for watching. And I will see you next time. Alrighty. Bye guys!